Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create and use proxies inside Premiere Pro to make laggy footage playback perfectly smooth. These files are simply exported low resolution videos, otherwise identical to the original. They are only a fraction of the file size. So basically, this means your computer will have a much easier time processing and playing back all of the proxy files during the editing. And in return, this means no lag. Also, Ali said in our last video, we hit 5K subs here on YouTube, so thank you so much for subscribing. power to wise sent us 12 of their best-selling on Amazon lav mics, and we're giving them away since we just hit 5K, and at the end of the video, I'll explain what you need to do to enter to win one. All right, I'm in Premiere Pro right now. I have five clips loaded into the project. They are all 4K clips, and then I have a 4K sequence created with the five clips in the sequence. Now I'm working on an upgraded PC, so it's gonna play the 4K footage pretty well. So if you're working on a computer that can't play back the original footage, a great option is to create proxy files. Now, sometimes you don't need to create proxy files and all you need to do is just change the playback resolution to half, for example, or a quarter. But if that doesn't do the trick, then I would suggest creating proxies. So in order to create proxy files, go up to your project panel window and then select all your footage, right click and then go to proxy, create proxies. Then the create proxies window will open up and you'll see that the format has H.264 or QuickTime. Now I prefer creating H.264 proxy files because the file sizes will be much smaller. And yes, the H.264 file is harder on your system for processing than the ProRes codec. However, it's irrelevant because we're working with such small resolutions. So with the format H.264 selected, under preset, you'll see that there's three options here. If your footage has a 16 by nine aspect ratio, meaning it's either 1080p or 4K UHD, then 1024 by 540 will not work for you as this is a different aspect ratio. And you also won't be able to use the 1536 by 790 because that's also a different aspect ratio. Now you can use the 1280 by 720. This is a correct aspect ratio and will work. However, I like to make my proxy files even smaller. I like to make them at 960 by 540. And that means it's guaranteed to have no lag even on very slow systems. So instead of using one of these presets, we'll make our own so that we can import it. In order to do that, let's go to Media Encoder. And then with Media Encoder open, let's go to Preset. Within this menu, you can either create a new ingest preset using an encoding preset that already exists, or you can create your own. In this case, we're gonna create our own, and then from that encoding preset, we'll generate an ingest preset. So let's click on Create Encoding Preset. And we'll give this one a name, 960 by 540 encoding preset. As the format, we'll choose H.264. And then we'll uncheck audio as we don't need it for the proxies. And under basic video settings, we'll uncheck the width and height. And we'll change it to 960, which will default the height to 540. So this is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And you figure those numbers out by dividing your 4K UHD footage by 4. For the frame rate, we'll leave it based on source. For the field order, we'll set this to progressive. For the aspect ratio, we'll set this to square pixels one. And because we're creating low res proxies, we do not want to set it to maximum bit depth. And then we'll scroll down here. Under bit rate settings, we'll leave it to one pass. And target bit rate, we'll set that to 4.5. And a maximum bit rate of five. And this is significantly smaller in bit rate than the original 4K UHD footage. And your image in the proxies will look a little bit low quality, but it will allow you to edit much faster without any lag. So depending on the computer you're working on, you can create your proxies like this, or you can increase it. From there, we'll hit OK. And then now that we've created this, we'll go to Preset, Create Ingest Preset. And then for the preset name, we'll set it to 960 by 540. Proxy for 16 by 9 footage. And then we'll go down to the Transcode Files to Destination area. We can ignore the destination path as we can select it later on in Premiere Pro. But for the format, let's go to H.264, and then under preset, let's choose our encoding preset that we made earlier. From there, we'll hit OK. And then you can see we have our encoding preset and we have our new proxy preset. And now that we've created our ingest preset, we need to export it. So let's right click on it and go to export presets and then navigate to the area you wanna save your preset in. And I'd recommend you email this file to yourself as well because it's a very small file and it does come in handy if your computer were to crash or if you reinstall Premiere and you wanna create proxies in the future. So let's save it here. And then we're done in media encoder, we'll close that. And then back in Premiere Pro, instead of using one of these three, like we said before, we'll click on add ingest preset. 
and then navigate to the area with your ingest preset, click on it, click open, and then you'll now have the preset ready to go. And then for the destination of your proxies, I always recommend setting it to next to original in a proxy folder because then it's always with your original footage and it keeps things organized. From there, we'll click on OK. This is going to open up Media Encoder and it will automatically start creating the proxy files and then each one will have the name underscore proxy added to the end of them. If you're working on a very large project with footage that's 4K, for example, or larger, it's going to take a very long time to create the proxy files. So I'd suggest creating your proxies at the end of the day and letting your computer run overnight. Okay, so now that we're done creating the proxy files, let's close Media Encoder. And inside Premiere Pro, the proxy files might not be turned on by default. So in order to do that, inside your program monitor, we'll go to the little button here, and then we'll find the symbol here for toggle proxies, and we'll drag that down into the button area down here. And when you toggle it on, it'll turn blue, and that means you're using the proxies. And to show you what it's doing here, let's go to 200. And then I'll hit the tilde key on our keyboard to maximize the window and we'll toggle it on and off and have a look at the resolution change. So this is the original 4K file with the proxy off and with it on you can see that it's much more blurry and that's because we're using the low res proxy file. And you'll see with the proxies I can scrub through the footage very quickly and there's no issue because they're such small files. So that's how you create proxies inside Premiere Pro to fix laggy footage. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're doing a giveaway. In our last video, we had a lot of people comment looking to win one of the mics from power to wise that we're giving away. So thank you to everyone who's entered so far. We're giving 12 of them away in total, so there's still time to enter. The same rules apply as the last video. Subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a comment below with your Instagram handle telling us how you will benefit from the mic. We'll see you next time.